power stations are often surrounded by security fencing and guarded by round-the-clock patrols. But the real danger may not come from a physical attack on a facility, but through cyber attacks on the connected sites by hackers thousands of miles away. We're seeing uh, people looking for vulnerabilities, people scanning to, to see what types of uh, openings they can find. Inside the nation's largest power grid operator, cybersecurity experts keep watch for intruders 24-7. An Associated Press investigation found that the networks running the U.S. power grid remain vulnerable, despite repeated warnings by cybersecurity experts and increased efforts to stop the attacks. We're still in this era where everyone believes it's secure by default. And it's not. AP has learned that nearly a dozen times in the past decade, foreign hackers have gained remote access to networks that run the grid, which supplies power to the military, mass transit, businesses, and millions of Americans. While none of the intrusions resulted in the catastrophic blackouts lasting days or even weeks feared by the intelligence community, that possibility remains. It's all real. It's all... Uh... There's lots of variables, lots of potentials that could happen. Identifying the source of cyber attacks is notoriously difficult, but private firms have alleged that recent attacks launched against the U.S. power grid were carried out by hacking teams within Russia, China, and Iran, some with their government support. Even the Islamic State terrorist group is trying to hack American power companies, according to the Department of Homeland Security. We are not where we need to be, and we are very, very focused on getting to where we need to be. Homeland Security officials say public and private cooperation is key in fighting cyber attacks. Our ability uh, to assist in the protection of cyber systems depends upon our receipt of information. Security experts say the country's power system is aging and outdated never built with network security in mind. And fixes often take way too long. In the case of a large cyber attack on the U.S., we can't be calling up vendors and having them say, sorry, it's going to take us eight months to get this patch. But experts believe hackers may have already infiltrated networks that control parts of the grid, even if they have not yet used that access to turn off the lights. Haven Daily, Associated Press, San Jose, California.